What's up guys, Spirit Tuning Link here, and we're back with more Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last part, I have, I left this chest unopened, and now we're opening it. So, I wonder what lies within. And it's none other than, the Fairy Slingshot! Now, these, if you remember from the last part, we saw an item that could be a Deku, not sorry, shells, I, no, not shells, Deku shells, I, I don't know what they were called. But you can shoot them with a. But in the recess. Ah! Okay, anyways, we got a slingshot now. Okay, I don't. Don't. don't doesn't matter what I was about to say. So, yeah, um. What you're gonna do is aim with your slingshot using Z target and you just hit it. And then it will fall onto the ground. So, the bushes also sometimes drop the de Deku seeds, not shells. These are small hard seeds that you can use as bullets for your slingshot. Yeah, so we could have bought those, some of those, in the we could buy them in the Kokiri shop now if we wanted to, but I'm not gonna because while 30 may seem like a little, you usually don't run out of sh seeds, not shells, and now we can progress up here now. I'd like to share with you a little bit of my first time playing this game. First time playing this game. I didn't know that you could kill these guys with a slingshot. So guess what I tried to do? I spent three hours trying to get up here. And yes, I remember it was three hours trying to get up here. Because if they're up there and they spot you, they will run into you and ram you off of it. And you'll fall down. And that made me so mad. So what we're gonna do is use your slingshot to kill them. Don't suffer the same fate I did. Okay, now you're just gonna ignore those because we're gonna go here and get the another item. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so now these these switches appear all over the game. Just means event switches. Um. Okay. Wow. I failed the easiest puzzle in the game. On my first try. Ha! Okay, so now. You know, I'm not jumping in the second one. There's a little, I guess you could say, glitch you could do. It's called roll jumping. It can be done in both N64 Zeldas. Um, if you roll, because jumping is determined by speed. And it, oh, we got the arm, we got the compass. I forgot that reaction. Oh, that, okay, who cares? Um, but jumping is determined by speed in both N64 Zeldas. So rolling gives you an extra burst of speed for a limited time or a little bit. So if you, okay, I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. Um, so yeah, if you roll off a ledge, you'll jump farther than you would if you didn't. Just a little interesting trivia for you. And now I'll explain the compass. 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 Okay, so what the compass does is it is. You can use it. And what. Okay, what. Ah, okay. I'm, I'm forgetting all about this. Okay. So what it does is it shows you where you are on the map, shows you where you entered in the room on the map, and shows you where all, any chests are on the map that aren't open. What we're gonna do is. Are you serious? I missed that. Oh my god. Okay, what you're gonna you should hit the center and I like hit the center. What is wrong? Oh my god. Wow, I am really bad. Oh, I might really kill these guys again. Okay. Now after a minimum I haven't said minimum ways, but I said minimum rage is what I meant. Okay, nuts. <laughs> that sounded so wrong. Yay, nuts. Either I'm a squirrel or just plain creepy. I'm neither. Okay, so let's make our way back up. I'm climbing where there's no... Okay, where? Actually, I'm going to show you what Deku must do. That's what you do. And now I'm gonna show you. Okay, that's actually. Okay, whatever. Yes, yeah, so they just stun an enemy briefly. Some other items in the game actually can do this. Like. 
the boomerang, but we actually can't get that till way later. And let me touch this, and the uh, this torch comes on. So let's see what's in here. Darn. I why do I think all these chests have rubies in them? I don't know why. I mean. I guess because I've been playing George Mask a lot like, recently again because I think this is going to be this. I'm playing my third playthrough of Majora's Mask, like not on camera, on. Well, I'm used to because a lot of the chests in the game have rupees on them, so whatever. Anyways, this is another Deku scrub. So yeah. Okay, so this is actually important. So. You'll never beat the, my brothers up ahead unless you punish them in the proper order. The order is 2, 3, 1. And the reason I know is because I played a billion times. Alright, 23 is number 1. Do you think I'm going to trade? Okay, so with this is, you just kind of want to kind of keep that in the back of your head. Because what it does is it makes it, well, it's the, because we reach 3 Deku Scrubs later, and that's the order you have to kill them in to proceed. So, yeah. And useful. Being traders and all that bad. Okay, so you can want those eye switches appear throughout the game. You're gonna want to hit them with a what's it called? A a uh, I don't know. Uh, not a slingshot. Wow, I'm doing really bad today. Okay, so you're gonna here you just dive in the water and. Uh, the water is lowering. That's not usually what happens. Whenever you hear that little, like, that sound in the background, it means, like, you have a limited time to do something. You can't go on this without doing that. Okay, so we see another one of those Cthulhu's. Dang it, okay, let's I'm gonna see. Okay. Yeah, with one suit, with one like sword slash like that, that I did, you can kill him in one hit. I'm not getting my Well, early in the game. And now here we see something we see often. The reason, what I call this is, I call it a moon block, because on the side of it is a moon. Now, chances are that your, the side, the things that's on, the symbol on your block is not a moon. It's because that in the this is version 1.0 of Ocarina of Time, the original version of Ocarina of Time that was released. You know, the one with the, the one that was released in the golden cartridges. It had this symbol instead of the one that's used in. I think I think it was in version 1.12, but I, on the one the GameCube it didn't have this, and in the 3DS version it doesn't. Or Wii U, no, not Wii U, Wii Virtual Console. The reason that game that was switched is because you might kind of guess it does look like a religious symbol, and there was a lot of controversy regarding that. But it's not actually the most controversial thing in the game. There's something one of the soundtracks is very controversial, so you may notice a uh, some minor changes. And I'm not going to be pointing out all the changes in this game that are based around this. Around the symbol, around version 1.0. I'm just gonna be pointing. I'll point out the major. I'm pretty sure there's three major, and I already covered one of them in the symbol. And two of them have to do with religion. So fun. Okay. Now don't walk ahead. Just target this guy and shoot him like that. Okay. okay so now as you see these just yo pods in the sky thing. Hi, what are you saying? Okay, whatever. Okay, so now I want deck. What? I ran through that. I par okay. You guys saw that. I ran through that and it didn't let me get it. Oh, 90s video game physics. Okay. Now let's climb back through this hole. This is a generally short dungeon, so don't be surprised if because we're almost done and I'm. Gonna be getting to the end right about now, but not now because we're waiting for the next part. Uh, I I know it it's, it hurts. But anyways, the next part we're gonna be continuing deeper into the dungeon. So yeah, so join us next part for that. Anyways, it's been Spirit Link. See you guys at the next part.